Hey guys, it's Sigourney here, and I got some more YouTube advice for my fellow content creators out there. Now today, guys, just like last week, it's going to be more tutorial focused. I showed you guys last week how to make pretty darn good thumbnails in Photoshop, guys. Well, this week, I'm going to show you guys how to make your commentaries sound better in Audacity by reducing background noise, compressing them a bit so they're not so loud in places, and all that kind of stuff. Now, guys, before we get into this, I do just want to say that... This doesn't guarantee they'll sound great, okay? It doesn't guarantee it'll sound the way mine sound, okay? A lot of you guys have said I have pretty good audio. That's not just because of the way I edit it here. It's also because of the microphone I have. I run a Blue Yeti, which is a pretty darn good condenser microphone. I do have a pop filter right in front of my mouth, so it reduces the P's and B sounds when I pronounce them, so it's not so loud and harsh on your guys' ears. And, of course, I also have my microphone right in front of my mouth on a boom arm, so that it reduces the background noise overall, because I can lower the volume of it. And all that kind of stuff guys so maybe that's something else you guys want to look into uh when you're recording your commentaries but these steps will definitely help if you guys are having trouble with background noise and all that kind of stuff now guys if you don't have audacity there'll be a link down in the description it's a free piece of audio editing software completely free uh you don't have to pay for it there's no like ads that pop up in the software or anything like that so go ahead and download it and then guys we'll get right into this now, guys, before you record any kind of vocals in Audacity, what you want to do is record at least five seconds of just background audio. And by that, I mean just don't speak. Just let your microphone pick up the background noise, the ambience of the surroundings that you're in. And therefore, we can then reduce that noise as much as possible, uh, which I'll show you guys how to do now. So, guys, once you've ended the recording, once you've done, you know, what you need to do, commentary, let's play, whatever, and you've ended the recording, I firstly recommend saving your Audacity project so that if Audacity does crash, for whatever reason, you do have a backup and don't have to redo the video but here we go guys these are the steps so firstly what you want to do is select that first five seconds or so of background noise that you recorded and then go up to effect and then noise reduction and then what you want to do is click like the get sample box or whatever it is and uh, that that'll get a sample of the background noise and then audacity will then know the type of background noise you want to remove if that's like your pc fan in the background your xbox your playstation something like that audacity will then know and then what you want to do is double click on your commentary itself and uh, that will highlight the entire commentary go back up to effect and noise reduction once again and click ok and audacity will remove that kind of background noise if that's a fan your dog barking Something like that, it will remove it throughout the entire commentary and it'll definitely make it sound a bit better if you guys are having problems with noise reduction. Now guys, the next step is once you have your commentary selected, once again, double click on it to highlight it in like purple or what have you, go back up to effect and click on normalize. You don't need to tamper with the settings here, just click OK. And this will just kind of, you know, lower the volume of the audio just a little bit, just so it's not clipping at all in Audacity. Now the next step is go up to effect and go compressor. Now there's only really one setting you want to tamper with here and that is the decibel range. I have mine on 25, as you can see, minus 25 decibels. You guys do not want to do that, okay? Most of you guys, I'm guessing if you're smaller content creators out there and don't have, you know, a, not a, a decent quality condenser microphone, don't have a pop filter, don't have the microphone right in front of your mouth, and, you know, don't have a pretty quiet household then that's just going to increase that background noise that you uh, recorded earlier. So personally, I'd recommend about 10 decibels, but of course you guys are going to have to play with that and see what works for you. Obviously, 25 decibels works for me. Because of the setup I've got, it may work for you guys. Give it a try, but probably 10 decibels is probably going to be the range that is going to work for you guys. Obviously, the more you compress it, the, uh, the, the more it's going to raise that background audio as well. So, like I said, guys, play about with it and see what works for you. Now, next step is go back up to effect and go equalization. And then you want to go to bass boost. And this will just increase the bass levels of your voice a little bit. Make it sound a little bit bassier, a little bit nicer. And uh, that's pretty much that. Then go back to equalization. And once you clicked OK on the bass boost and go to treble boost and do that as well. Once again, that'll increase the treble. And, uh, yeah, just make your voice sound a little bit more potent. Punchy, a little bit more energetic and uh, yeah just uh, just a bit more interesting overall now guys the next step is to go back up to effect and go normalize once again you want to do this just to make sure you know none of it is clipping again in audacity now guys once you've done that the next step is to go back up to effect you got you got to keep going to effect these, these are where all the settings are located and go all the way to the bottom where it says hard limiter now hard limiter is basically a more harsher version of compressing it or basically cut uh, the the audio where you allow it to which you guys will see in just a moment you want to mess about with the decibel range 
Now, I'd probably say anywhere between minus 3 and minus 5 is probably the best. I usually go about minus 4, but you guys want to see how much it cuts off the audio. If it cuts off a lot of your voice, it's going to clip a lot and it's going to distort and sound terrible, guys. So play about with it. You only want it to just cut off like the tiny little spikes of audio just so it isn't so loud in places. So once again, guys, play about with that. See what it sounds like when you guys do it yourselves. Now, guys, the final step is just to normalize it once again to make sure you know it's not clipping in audacity and then you're done pretty much you can do if you want mess about with the amplify effect which once again go to effect and then amplify this is basically the overall volume of your commentary you can lower that if you want i tend to just leave it and mess about with that in vegas my editing software of choice but that's of course up to you guys so guys once you're done go to file export and export it in whatever kind of file type you want i'd personally recommend a microsoft wav file uh, but you can also export it as an mp3 if you don't have that much space on your computer but yeah guys that's pretty much how to make your commentary sound better in audacity hopefully that did help you guys out in uh you know reducing background noise compressing it you know and just making it sound better in general guys if you do want more youtube advice for myself please do subscribe to the channel i do these videos every single week if you do have a suggestion for something that you particularly want me to cover let me know down in the comments below and that being said guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time this is like the background image now what we want to do here is uh kind of blur it a little bit that's what i like to do for the very background so we obviously don't want it make we don't want to make it stand out too much because that will contrast with the um kind of like main image bit here